Now, from across the Tri-State, this is KHQA Sports. Community girls basketball team was finally able to breathe a sigh of relief last week after getting past South Fulton in the regional championship, the same team that had beat them in that same game on more than one occasion. Wasn't much time for celebration, though, as the Lady Mustangs took on Illini Bluffs tonight in the Mount Pulaski sectional. And taking on Illini Bluffs means you also take on 3,000-point scorer Taylor McClintock. No easy task. We'll take you out to the action Mount Pulaski tonight. And we'll start you off. Brad Begaman's crew out to a really strong 4-0 start and kind of setting the tone for a very nice first half. Great passing as Brooklyn Moore goes to Whitney Murphy. And then Moore's going to draw one up herself from mid-range and spin that one home. Unity just keeps it rolling. Brand Begaman got scorching hot in this one. Post bucket down low there. She's good from outside and good from inside. Then Brianne from the corner. I mentioned she's got a nice long-range game as well for three. And she can dish a little bit too. Unity gets inside. Game tied at 16 at this point after Brooklyn Moore gets in there. They were down two at the half. Unity was, but here is Taylor McClintock. We've mentioned her a couple times throughout the season on the air. She is very, very good. And unfortunately for Unity, their season does come to an end tonight. Illini Bluffs gets a second half surge and goes out to a 48 to 32 win over Unity. Great season, though, for Brad Begaman's team. Also in this one, playoffs tonight, it was Central Southeastern taking on Pleasant Plains. And at Whitehall, the sectional here, the Central Southeastern team had a lousy first eight minutes, but then they really got it going. That long squad springs to life in the second quarter. Tori Conover finds Chrissy Weaver. Terrific cut to the hoop there. And then they would keep things going here off the miss. They're going to turn it up the floor into a fast break. Kara Twadell grabs the miss, transitions, gets it to go. Central Southeastern looking very, very strong in this one. Later on, it's Dakota Limpkeman. She would score on a nice pass. Good inside cut there. Limpkeman gets the friendly roll in Central Southeastern. Looking good, really, from that second quarter on. Tori Conover is going to post up, get around the defender, push one off the glass. Solid move from Miss Conover there. Later, Aaron Flesner, offensive board here off the miss, and she will get these second effort points. Central Southeastern plays great defense in this one, as they have over the last couple of weeks. How about a little Madison Steinkamp to get the bucket, and it's all good news tonight for Central Southeastern. They get a big 37 to 34 win over Pleasant Plains tonight, and they will take on the winner of Litchfield and North Mac. Those two teams set to play tomorrow. Also, girls scores in the Jacksonville sectional Class 3A action. Jacksonville got out to a 25-3 to lead on Lanphier at home and go on to win this game 61-45. to And, of course, Jacksonville will play the Quincy Notre Dame Lady Raiders tomorrow night at 6 p.m. in the next round of action. Of course, Q&D with the first round by. Also, Missouri girls action. Clopton falls to Silex tonight. Close one, 57-52. to But the Bowling Green girls do get a nice win over Ellsbury, 49 to 19. Bixby leads the way in scoring in that one. How about some boys action? We'll take you over to Missouri, Fort Madison, and Clark County, and that's John Nagel. The big man can do some running. Gets the steal and a nice run out. Two points for him and Fort Madison off to a good start, but Clark County with plenty of answers early in this game. Austin Egley lines up the three, knocks it down. We were tied at 14 after a quarter of play. Beautiful move here by Jonathan Temenak. The nice little spin, the fade away. He's a lefty, gets it to go. Very nice shot in the paint there. Later on, John Nagel is going to drive, hit this off balance and one. He's really had a nice season, kind of putting it all together as we near the end of the season. Good bucket for him. Scramble for the ball, though. Clark County will get the best of this one. Luke Ross off the rebound, takes a little bit of contact, puts one in, and the Indians are hanging on. Nice take here by Javen Ray. Kind of sells it by looking into the corner. Takes it all the way strong. Gets that long left arm to reach up off the glass and in. Bloodhounds, though, would get the last laugh of this first half. John Nagel draws in the defense. That would leave open Wesley Bernhardt to beat the buzzer for two. And Fort Madison went to half with a four-point lead. But the crowd still having fun. It was Ross again here in the third quarter. He'll get the jumper. And it's Clark County behind eight points from Ross, Kyle Kovar, and Chase Bevins gets the win tonight as Chase Bevins hits the game-winning field goal in the final 10 seconds. Good win for the Indians tonight, 50-48. to your final in that one. Also, other boys scores to pass along. Still in Missouri, it was Bowling Green beating Ellsbury. Another nail biter tonight, 57 to 54. On the Illinois side of things, Brown County, Braxton Phelps, 12 points, not enough as they fall to Carrollton, 61 to 38. Also, playoff action and boys, Iowa action. It was Central Lee, 49 to 41 winners over West Burlington, and they will be at Burlington Notre Dame in the semis that game on Thursday.